Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. It's always a delight to welcome Pastor Mia Wright from the Fountain of Praise this morning. She's here, though, in the capacity of Executive Director of the Metamorphosis Women's Conference. It's going to take place next month, celebrating 20 years. Yes, Canberra, I can't believe that 20 years of transforming women's lives has already passed. And we have so many testimonies over the years of how impactful metamorphosis has been in a woman's life to help them live a better life. For somebody who does not know about metamorphosis, it seems to me that it, what, what is it all about? Because it's more than just a speaker. There are a lot of things that go along with this. Oh, yes. Metamorphosis is an inspirational conference, but we also include empowerment seminars. So we're also dealing with just not just the spirit aspect of a person's life, but we're also looking at how can we uh, impact them day to day so mm -hmm. that their life's choices will move them forward and advance their lives to a better place. So Metamorphosis gathers together thousands of women who are excited about this transformation. They hear great messages and true testimonies of others who have done things to change their lives. I've heard that this conference was something, it was just a God gift to you, or something mm -hmm. God inspired. Tell me about that. Well, I woke up one night in the middle of the night and I just felt like there was something more that women needed. I had been speaking at different conferences for years and I would see when I repeat and go back to another conference, I would see the same situation. I asked women, how have you changed? How have you done anything different? And quite often the messages were just there. I think it just was in one part of their brain, but never really uh, transferred to their actions. Mm -hmm. And so just teaching women how to walk out their change, what their desires are to focus on something, to find something better for their lives and then drive their actions and activities towards Towards that became really a driving passion for me. Uh, the, the theme I understand is undeniably different. Why that theme? Well, we use the example of a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. Okay. And so over the past few years, we've used different aspects of what that transformation looks like to help women apply it to their own lives. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's experiencing something or evolving out of a situation, emerging or elevating, when you come through something, you actually are different no matter what that something is in your life, mm -hmm. you become a different uh, person, a different aspect. You're the same person, but you have a different right. perspective on what you've gone through. Right. And you grow. That is the intent for all of us to go through challenges of life is that we grow and become better. And so when we get to the place that we're undeniably different, we cannot deny what we have been through, but we recognize that it has made us different and it has made us better. Mm -hmm. And so when we get that perspective and that mindset of what it is that we've been trained transformed from, that's where the metamorphosis comes in because we have embraced what we've been through and where we are actually going. So the event's March 20th, correct? So yes. Friday, and it's, it's, it's a one-day event? It's a one-day event. We have a full day. We have empowerment seminars from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and then we have the spiritual conference from 7 o'clock to 9.30. But during that time, we'll have food trucks and vendors, and there are DJs and a lot of activities that will be going on, and so the women will be able to have a selection of different workshops that they can participate in mm -hmm. to that will deal with whatever they're facing in their own personal lives. How surprised are you and or gratified are you about the response that you've gotten through the years from people mm -hmm. who may have come one year, come back the next year, and they've been changed and they've been positively changed because of being a part of that conference? Oh my God, I am so gratified. I'm surprised by the messages that come forth, then the testimonies that come after. There are women who have been suicidal, who have come to the conference and they have changed their whole perspective on what they were going through to understand that it wasn't permanent and that they are better because of whatever they've transitioned out of. Mm -hmm. There are women who have gone back to college. There are women who have started new careers, launched their own businesses. I say we are igniter for change. We may not get the credit, like the, the university may get the credit for graduating somebody, or the business chamber may get the credit for launching a new business, but there was something that ignited in that person's mind and in their spirit prior to that to say, I can do this. And so what is that? And that's where metamorphosis begins with women. We help them to believe that they actually can do these things. You know, it's amazing, and it, but it's not surprising what uh, God's message can do, isn't it? It is. It's incredible. If you can just believe, believe what he says for each of us, and then what we believe in our own lives. What is it that I can do? What am I gifted to do? What am I skilled to do? What am I good at? And then put that to work for you so that you can uh, make that, whether it's a career or a passion, make that into something that is lasting, that leaves a legacy with your name on it. I wanted to make sure you came here because I 
want to make sure that you circle the date, Friday, March 20th, and uh, we're going to put the information about the conference on the Houston Newsmakers page on click com as well. Friday, March 20th, circle the date. Thank you, Kevin. Good luck Brown. on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to be right back.